So we have a long drive today and we thought, we wondered if it would be interesting to hear the conversations of a couple <laughs> for eight hours. Um, and not just our conversations, but you know, how we entertain ourselves for a long day's road trip. Uh, it may or may not be of interest. We have no idea. Sometimes we have some fascinating conversations, so we <laughs> thought we would just record the entire thing. Um, I'll probably do some slight editing uh, just to condense it from eight hours to maybe two or three, and uh, you guys be the judge. So this is the start of our trip. We're heading from uh, yeah, Amistad Lake area where we boondocked last night and we are now heading toward White Sands, uh, New Mexico, where we're gonna spend a few days. Don't know if we will uh, make it all the way, because it is a long day, but uh, we'll see. And although he talks a lot on the camera, he's off the camera, I do most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. So. Oh, and so today is Mother's Day, so I'll need to call my mom. Happy right. Mother's Day to all the mothers That's out right. there, including mine. Even if we don't celebrate in Romania, we celebrate yeah. celebrate on 8th of March. I think maybe it's just an American holiday, I don't know. Which is... Uh, I, don't, I don't think it is. No, I think in UK as well, maybe it's just English. Yeah, it's possible. Um, we celebrate it together with the International Women's Day. Oh, no, that's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, what what are you excited most about uh, with White Sands? Because you had never heard of it until I brought it until up. Until you told me, yeah. yeah. I don't know. Um, well, to see yet another unique place, it looks so. Um, obviously, I've seen lots of desert and sand, <laughs> but um, this one looks. Amazing! I, I hope we can get a nice sunset I there know, yeah. because it could reflect nicely, and it's uh, I don't know the the, the I, colors could be really interesting and yeah. I just hope the light is good and because with that blue sky and the white sand, it should be a really cool yeah. contrast. But what do, you, what what do you do there? I mean, okay, you go to the desert, you take a few photos, walk in the desert, but is you know, there like to do I don't. I don't know if I told you this story or not. But um, when I was in Indo uh, in India, I went to Ranakach, which is also known as the White Desert, which has some similarities to this place because it's all white. You know, it's all salt. It's a dry oh, okay. uh, lake. And I had this idea. I don't know if I told you about this or not. But I had this idea where uh, I would take uh, a bunch of colored balloons. And I'd have them all filled up, and uh, I was with Archna, and I was going to have her carrying these. I would take her picture and stuff. I thought it was a great idea, you know, yeah. a real Instagram idea. Yeah. Um, and I, so I went to <laughs> all the effort. I, 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 I went into the market. I found a place I could actually get colored balloons. I found them. But then I had, I don't know, 50 balloons. And then I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I have to fill these all up. So I hired a bunch of the uh, young men. Uh, at the restaurant of the hotel I was staying at to blow them up. So we got them all blown up. And I here I have like 50 balloons. Well, maybe not quite 50. And I had them tied to a string. And now I have to get on the bus because you have to take this little bus. Oh. It's not a public bus. It's a private <laughs> bus for the hotel. But you have to get on the bus. Now, there are other guests. And we have to go from... Uh, the uh, this our hotel just maybe a couple miles because it's really it's on the Pakistan border uh -huh. so it's uh, it's high security and everything so they don't let you just walk there so it's only like a mile walk or half a mile walk and we have to go there and um, I, I'm I'm now trying to get on the bus with 50 balloons <laughs> I don't know if you know how difficult it is to squeeze through the door but it was very challenging. So a few popped, eh, no problem, right? But now while I'm on the bus, mind you, it's getting very hot and it's, um, uh, it, it's getting, uh, so the balloons now are expanding and they're popping and oh, people are geez. freaking out everywhere. 
I'll tell you, by the time I got off the bus, I only had about 10 balloons left. I'm like, all right, it's still enough color and everything. It'll still be okay. And right now we have to go through this inspection station, probably because we're really close to the Mexican border. Oh, yeah, it's immigration so, yeah. inspection. I have documents so, ready. Yeah, I have to interrupt my story until we can get through here. Do I need my passport? No, no, no. Oh, maybe they can stop it. Yeah. Get out of the country and Actually, getting... yeah, it's not a bad idea. Hello. Hey. Thank you. That's it? That's it. Oh. We should have asked him. I, I, you know, I was thinking about it, and then I thought, I don't know. If we should, I yeah, just, this I don't Mexican know. border. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'd rather do it like if they're out patrolling and, and we're not considered a, a threat or anything. and. Yeah, I mean, we are not considered a threat here either. No. no. <laughs> but, uh... Okay, so to finish my story, um, so now we're, we're at the Rana <laughs> and uh, I, I started with maybe 40, 45 balloons, a number of them, maybe 10 popped on the, the bus, and then uh, as I get off the bus, I'm trying to squeeze through with all these balloons, a few more pop, I get off the expansion, because it's warm out, the expansion is happening, a few more balloons. I'll tell you what, by the time I got out onto the white desert, they call it, which is just a, a dry salt bed, I had three balloons left. <laughs> three measly balloons. I was so distraught because I thought this is the most amazing idea. Because I don't think I had ever seen any, a lot of people got creative with the white sand and the blue sky. They got really creative with the uh, with their photographs. Yes. And I thought this would be really cool because I don't know that anyone had done it before. Yeah. Because I had looked through all these Ronna Koch Instagram photos and I never saw it. So I thought, okay, this is going to be really cool. It's going to be epic. You know, all these colored balloons. Three balloons. It was just... It, it were went, they at least colorful? They were, but they were small and they were dejected. <laughs> it was just... It sucked. I was so bummed. Oh, maybe we can do it here. Where do we get the balloons? That's actually not a bad idea. I, I wonder. I, it, it might be too warm. The thing I didn't factor in was expansion. Oh, we do it. You know, because the air expands on those balloons, so you have to blow them up only maybe halfway or three quarters, maybe. And actually, honestly, you and then because they don't have helium or anything, you kind of have to run a little bit. I don't know. It was logistically not the greatest. Stuff. Yeah, it was a challenging. Yeah. I wish I had a red dress with me. Yeah. Yeah. Do, well, what about, what other color? What about, oh, what about your red pants? I, I, I think a dress is better. It would be better, the but. Desert. Yeah. It looks so nice, like a dress. So I have the uh, orangey one. Yeah, it's too muted, I think. Or the blue. <laughs> no, that's not going to work. So. It might be okay, but. I think, I think you gotta go with the red pants. And I think the blue would work. Because it's darker blue, it's not like the sky. But I mean, yeah. if I don't have a red one. I am I really it. disappointed that we're not going to Big Bend National Park. Um, but I I just don't know that it was worth the, the, the risk to go down there and not be able to find camping. And then it was a long way for nothing. And we really do need to get back to start. We've been on the road for six weeks and we really need to get to work on all of our content. Yeah. Honestly, even social media, we've hardly posted. I mean, we have so much content to share. We packed too much we did. in this first part. Like, how, how many miles did we drive? Not, not not you coming to Indiana, that was already a lot, but just us from Indiana to here. I, 
I would say, yeah, I think it was about 2,000 miles to Chicago, I think. So I guess we had probably driven 3,500 to 4,000 miles. Oh, so I said 2, 3,000. Yeah. Okay, wow. Yeah. Right. And that's in six weeks. Six weeks, yeah. yeah. A lot of places. In a so, lot of places, yeah. And plus we, we were zigzagging quite a bit in Florida. It's not like we drove and everything was on the way. Go up, go down, go. So yeah, we've been backtracking a little bit as well. Looks like we're going through a little town here. Yeah, we are we are going through 90, so there will be a few small towns. But I don't know, maybe it's more scenic. I don't know, we have three options. Comstock, that's where we're driving through. It's nothing. Uh, we have three options. To go to I-10. I oh, there's a couple of vultures eating. Again. I've never seen as many vultures as we've seen oh, on, on this well, road. Oh, well, what about that one time? There was like, must have been 50 vultures in the no, air. No, that's what I'm saying, as we've seen on this road. It was also here on uh, 90. Yeah. Right? Here is 90. You know what's nice about this? Well, now there's, I say that. This road, I, I don't know how, the speed limit is, what was it, 70 or 75? 75. 75, and we're just on this little tiny highway. There is somebody behind me now. But thankfully, there's just not much traffic on this. I think this is nicer than getting on I-10. That, that's why I said, I think even if it's like 10 minutes longer, let's say, it's still worthwhile yeah, yeah. to drive. And look, there's no car yeah. in front of us. Yeah. There's and it one was like this when we were now. driving. Yeah, okay. I'm sorry. No, that's I, it though. There's no one around. I know, after I that. promised I rented the highway, but I, I, I let a few <laughs> people in, you know. I just, it needs, I need to pay for the rent. With a few people. <laughs> That's how we call it in Romania when there is an, an empty highway. We say we rented the highway. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's a clear day. Yeah, it's much nicer. And I'll tell you, now that we're kind of more into the west, well, we're in West Texas. Um, versus the south and the east. My god, I, I like the drier weather. It's dry, yeah, yeah, you can tell. That and humidity there are less is mosquitoes. kind of stifling. Yeah, way fewer mosquitoes. Yeah. Well, hopefully we find a nice moon-talking place for tonight. Yeah. And have our little treat. Oh, uh, I really want a special location for that. I don't know, it, it's kind of weird because knowing that we're filming this, like I feel like we're talking to the camera. I know, you are, you but, are. But you... we're also, we need to just talk to ourselves and yeah, have a conversation. I, that, that's but, what I do. but I almost, I, you know, because we've never done anything like this. I, I do it, I do it when you talk to the camera more. Well, no, it's like I'm wondering if I'm the audience watching this, do we, <laughs> should we tell them what? Because if we're just talking, we know, we're like, it's like an inside joke. Yeah. And I, I worry that whoever might be watching this, I don't know if anybody will. You can, you can put it in writing underneath. Well. The explanation. Yeah, okay, so I don't, that's the thing. I don't know if we should, you know, maybe we're talking and then we tell the audience what we're talking about. I don't think so, because then it does, it's not natural. I wish we could audience. ask the audience right now. You know what would be interesting is if we did this live yeah. and then you, actually that's a really good idea. Oh, we should do a live video. Driving. That's epic. <laughs> then we could ask the audience what they would like. Do you want us to describe what we're talking about? So in this particular case, we have a filet mignon of two filet mignons, <laughs> uh, marinating. So even if people don't want to know, he's going to explain now what we have prepared. Go ahead. Two filet mignons, a really nice bottle of red wine. This is the microphone. Um, we've got corn on the cob. We've got uh, peppers, bell peppers baked potatoes we're gonna make and we have a grill we I've used it before as a fire pit but it also has a grill and we bought some charcoal and we just want to have this really nice but did you eat more of my steak 
Jesus. <laughs> oh my god. That's, that's freaking amazing. You mm. all did yourself. Mm. And this wine goes so well with it. Oh my it. god. Mm. Oh. You want some more um, onion? Mm. No, I have some. I have some still in the grill. But the the trailer has a grill. No, that's a griddle, oh. not a grill. Oh. Um. Oh, this. Is yeah. Oh, this is. Look, they cart yeah, filmed know. this. Yeah. It's too late. No, no, no. It's there's still more up here. But this is really interesting. They carved this all out for the road. might be helpful because I could do a cutaway so the audience knows what we're talking about. Wow, you're really talking to the audience. Yeah. Well, this is an experiment. We don't know, you know, but I do like the live idea. We have got, since we have uh, nomad internet, we provided we have cell coverage, we could stream this the entire time. And I, I think that would be very interesting. The question is, do we stream it on YouTube, Facebook, or Instagram? Because we can, can do it on you all. You can do it on all, yeah. Well, Maybe it, we, you have to have devices. Like, one device would be on YouTube, one on Facebook. I think we would get more traction on Facebook, but I would love to do it on uh, YouTube. Yeah. Or maybe we'd get more... I don't think we'd get as much fa traffic on Instagram. Because... People, a lot of times, are in front of their computers on uh, Facebook, but I don't know that they are on Instagram. They're mostly on their phones, so they won't have the attention span. I don't know. They don't stay that long, yeah, I guess. Yeah. And YouTube is like but I think it would be so cool, since there's two of us, you could be monitoring the live stream, and you could answer questions. We could answer them as we're driving. we got to do this from White Sands to... Um, our southern next stop Arizona. will be kind of in southern Arizona. Yeah, uh, I forgot. Oh, Benson. We're going to be camped out in Benson at the Thousand Trails. Okay. And then from there, we're going to be going to... I want to take you to Bisbee. That's the place we, that I wanted to take you last year yeah, when you I came. Uh, Bisbee is really a cool old mining town. There's a great restaurant. We should probably try and have dinner there. Um, yeah, I know I don't have to convince you. Oh, no, no, that, that's not why I'm smiling oh. about. I'm smiling that now that the camera is rolling, I hardly talk. Oh. Oh, switch I see, the, I see. Switch off the camera and it's the other way around. The, the camera is on, you are on the roll. Well, I was going to tell you also in Bisbee, I have these, uh, these friends. They're an older couple and I met them, oh, I don't know, eight years ago in, oh, now I can't remember the name of the place. I'll think of it. But I met them. They uh, owned a bed and breakfast, and I did a video for them uh, many years ago. And um, we just kind of kept in touch. Lo and behold, I get an email. This is probably three years ago now. I get an email from them, and they said that they were, they sold the inn, and they've been road tripping around and wow. they're thinking about buying a place in Bisbee, Arizona because it reminds them so much of Home or something. No, the, the place that they had the inn, which now it's escaping me, but oh. they uh, ended up buying a place there and I happened to be in the area and let them know and they're like, well, please stop by and, um, and we'll take you to dinner. So they took me to this really awesome place for dinner. Oh, I know what it was. I actually stayed with them. They have, uh, uh, they could not escape the inn. They had to open up an Airbnb. They have a little casita on the property. And so I stayed there and, um, yeah. So anyway, it, we, that's a possibility. We could meet up with them. Very nice couple. Very interesting. Okay. And then we can go to Tombstone which is uh, this kind of authentic western town. and uh, I assume now they're probably back open where they'll, they'll do the gunfights and stuff. The 
Yeah, they do a gunfight. It's a so Tombstone is where the OK Corral, the shootout at the OK Corral, and so they do a reenactment. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Actually, it's kind of scary. Uh, somebody had live rounds in their gun by accident, and somebody got killed. Oh my god. Yeah, a few years back. How crazy is that? Jeez. This looks a little bit like. I guess we're kind of getting into the deserty landscape yeah, of yeah. West Texas. Yeah. yeah, it looks very similar to some parts of Arizona. You have all the prickly pears everywhere. Well, I love that no one's on this road and we can just kind of drive. I know. You would pull in the trailer. If I have to go the speed limit, it's the RPMs are so high and. You want to go take some pictures? And, yeah. Oh. Are you going to stay here? No, I'm going to fly the drone. Oh, okay. Okay. Are you not on, on the road too much? No, no, no. I'm off the road. Okay. Shall we switch this off? Yeah, go ahead. I don't know what happened. Either we didn't close them well or... Um, the drawers? We went through rough terrain because my collagen was out, the speaker was out, uh, oh. the door was open, the drawers were open. Yeah, I was filming back there, back and forth, and it was it was just us for minutes. Oh. There was nobody else on the road. Oh, they have the Ocotillo as well. Oh yeah, they do. Yeah, this reminded me of the one in um, The road? Monument, or? yeah, Monument oh, Valley. Yeah. When I took that picture and everybody was like, oh, isn't that dangerous? There were no yeah. cars yeah. for minutes. I don't put myself like a crazy idiot in the middle of the <laughs> road, you know, if there are cars passing. Some you know? do. Yeah, I'm not yeah. like those. I treasure my life. <laughs> yeah. Oh, definitely. The landscape is very, very much uh, similar to Arizona because it's desert. Yeah. That was such a cool canyon. Oh, it was amazing. Did you take? Did you take nice? Uh, you got it. Wait. Uh. Can you? Uh, there's a little speck on there. Can you clean that for me, please? Um. Did you get nice footage? Uh, I think. Unfortunately, I ran out of battery. Oh. It's really a bum deal only having one battery. Um, Where did we lose the other one? Well, one. Uh, after that crash last year, when I sent the drone in, they would only 
replace one of the batteries and then one comes with the new unit and so the third battery they wouldn't replace and I thought you know they're gonna be coming out with a new model soon so I didn't bother to buy a third one and now I'm having problems with that other battery where it won't turn on or off Oh yeah, right. so I'm down to one battery until we can send that other one in hopefully they'll replace it but I think they only warranty them for six months so which is just that's bullshit because those uh, batteries are very expensive I keep thinking I'm going to upgrade to a different drone at some point. How old is this one? Well, this one's really new because of that crash. Oh, no, I know. I know. Yeah. Because you got it replaced. Yeah. But otherwise... Oh, otherwise I've had this model for three years, the Mavic 2. Damn, I forgot to bring water. I Next stop. Luckily... The next best thing. Yeah. Well, actually, water is the next best thing. <laughs> this is the first best thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's still fine. Well, it should be. It's only half an hour old. Yeah. <laughs> and this one keeps it fine. Yeah, this oh. road is this is much nicer than driving on the interstate. I think it's about a hundred miles or something. Which actually, we're gonna need to get gas in about 75 miles. We have, yeah, if we take the other option, we, we, we stay longer on this one, is 640, oh, 600. Six hours and 46 minutes in total, we already drove some. And if we take the I-10 earlier, it's six hours and 34. Oh. So it's 10 minutes yeah. different. So yeah. it's not, yeah, let's stay here. So let me redo that, see how far we have from where we are right now. Six hours and 24 minutes. Actually, that was right. 423 miles. Yeah, that's a lot. So, with thing. gas stops and with everything, stops, we're well over eight, eight hours. hours. Yeah. yeah. Um, and we don't know where we are staying. I mean, yeah. I just put uh, last cruises here. But that's really next to White Sand. So, yeah. I guess maybe. Um, let me put El Paso and see how far. It's probably 40 miles or so. Yeah, yeah, that sounds about right. Earlier. Um, when you're done checking that, can you see how far gas is? So yeah, El Paso is 377 miles and the other one was 624. 624? Oh, sorry. <laughs> 6 hours and 24 minutes, 424 oh. miles. It was like a lot of, a lot of floors. Yeah, 
Hard Rock would be pretty cool. <laughs> and it's funny because in Romania, Marfa means uh, goods, merchandise, but oh, it's fun, but we use it as slang for cool. How when interesting like, that there's a relationship I with know. the Prada store. Wow. I know. So we say um, when something is like, wow, oh, but like really slang, oh, this is really cool to say it's Marfa. This is Marfa. <laughs> You should, you should go, go, when they go to Romania, we like something, it's like, oh, you marfa. Marfa. <laughs> well, not that exaggerated. I like to exaggerate the Romanian language. I uh, not just that, but <laughs> <laughs> in general, put a lot of both into it. But, okay, you are, you started rolling your R's like, better. Like, transpergarshan. Transfergeration. You put way too or, many or my favorite is Buena Ziwa. <laughs> oh, look at that old house. Buena Ziwa friends. Yeah. <laughs> you put too many R. So do you see how you say it differently? You say trans. That's yeah. how you say it. Because you, I cannot do it. Transfergeration. You say transfergeration. So it's transfergeration. Transfiguration. Okay, okay. But when like I that. use, when I say transfiguration. Well, when I use the the English R, then yeah, you pronounce yeah, it correctly. That, the rolling R's is a little tough. Yeah. Luckily, you don't have to roll it like in French. I say transfiguration. Ah, yeah. <laughs> do it, do it, do it. No. Transfiguration. Transfiguration. But actually, just. It in French first, you do this. Oui, oui, oui. Your mouth goes like this. this, this. I just saw the battery. Uh, even though we have it charging, it's consuming more than it's uh, replacing. We can, yeah, we can switch it off or we can let it charge again. Then everyone will, Whoa, whoa, look at it. Whoa, look at that. What? Oh ah! my god. That was crazy! This uh, vulture was carrying a big piece of carcass. Oh my, and then he dropped it. it. Dropped yeah. it on the road. Wow, that would have been cool to film. Oh my god, what is it? What is it with, with so many vultures on this road? You need to be more prepared with the film. Oh my god, by the time I... Oh. We should have one... Don't you have a going. shortcut? signs for historical markers. I was markers. going to ask you, because I... Whoa! Whoa! Oh. That was a... That was a snake, but it wasn't it a was rattler. A I, I think it just shed its skin or something, because it was all kind of red. Oh, no, no, no. I, I, I told you that I read about uh, red... Uh, they look reddish, red pinkish, some... Oh, a different species? Yeah, yeah. They, oh. I don't remember how they are called. Something with me. I don't know if... Uh, I caught its tail or not. I tried to swerve. You should.
should have looked out the side window to see. It was moving too. historical markers. Yeah. Yeah, I was just thinking, I wonder if anyone's documented them all. That would be kind of cool to have a database that says what happened there, or why the markers are, and oh, where the marker okay. is. That would yeah. kind of be interesting. It's like an event or something okay. that happened at that particular spot, or it could have been a something of significance, a building or something that was once there. We, we, we stopped by one in uh, the Vermilion Cliffs, read about it there. Yeah, but, oh, these are just basically signs, and if you go like one mile left, yeah, you'll find Yeah, yeah, the then there'll be a bigger see. plaque or something I that'll see. say what, <coughs> bless you. Thank you. <coughs> oh my gosh, that's loud. <laughs> Look who's talking, the whole car is shaking when you are sneezing. Yeah, I've had some violent sneezes lately. I I, I think my allergies. <laughs> what what was that? Jeez, another one. I don't know why I'm sneezing now. Oh, okay, that, now we're back. Yeah, that was just a tire. <laughs> That would have been a very black snake yeah. if it was one. How did you notice the other one? Well, I just saw this long thing. At first I thought maybe it was just a rope, but it was clearly moving. How oh, did you find out what it was? But no, because it, I, it freaks me out when I see all the oh. pictures of snakes, oh, okay. so I just stopped looking. I see. Yeah. Ooh. I can't believe touched one though. Remember in no. Everglades? You did? That was an alligator. That wasn't a snake. Or... Oh yes! Oh, that's right. The constrictor. The bow constrictor. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But you wouldn't pet its head. Oh, you should pet its tongue. Yeah. Uh, I'll pet its head when you pet its tongue. Oh, yeah. I'm sure. Yeah, I'm getting thirsty. Well, when I think of all the crawling creatures that are around us, and this is what I was thinking last night, I was thinking, I hope there is no hole anywhere where something can be crawling yeah. in our trailer, and we find it there. So, oh my God, can you imagine? I can because I was thinking last night, I told you this story, um, years ago I was going out to my parents for dinner and it was already dark and I am driving on this dirt road and it's like the road was moving I was, what the hell is going on? So I actually stopped, opened my door and there was literally a million tarantulas oh. going across the desert. It was some big migration. I've never seen anything like that oh, since. Yeah. It, that was crazy. Oh yeah, that's another thing. I mean, that gives me the heebie-jeebies just thinking about it now. <laughs> I mean, can you imagine, you know, you open your door and you step out and you've got tarantulas crawling all over you? No, no, I actually I mean, that's literally out of that. an Alfred Hitchcock movie or do you, something. Do you want to help the... Oh, yeah. Yes. That's true. You got carried away with your tarantula yeah. stories and... Yeah. Forgot to help our guest mileage. Yeah. Let's just hope we make it. We should be okay. I mean, we're definitely running low, but you said there were three stations.
whole thing that you didn't tell me last night about the tarantulas because all I could think was snakes. Yeah. And I thought they need like a bigger place to come in, but tarantulas don't need so big, no. Ugh. And they're all kind of insects as well.
because they probably park here and drive all the way to Big Bend. No. Oh, that'd be That's too far, too wouldn't far. it? Yeah. There's plenty of parking closer. Okay, wait, wait, where is the other one? Well, hopefully it's here. Didn't I pay for the last one? Oh, jeez. Okay. Hey, yeah. get the pin. It. <laughs> no, you don't remember it. I know. Well, then you'll ask me, and I'll be inside the truck. Damn it, it worked. Oh. You have to go inside and ask for the zip code. I hate this. Oh, um, yeah, you're probably at, put 60. Battery. Yeah, it does. I thought that one was already charged. Is this my battery? No. It's not. I have two. So, I don't know. It doesn't look like it's charging. Which one? No, leave it alone. It's fine. It's not charging. It's using that. Oh, I see what you mean. Oh, you know what? Yeah. I unplugged it. You have to plug this in. Well, now it still doesn't look it's like it's charging. charging it. That's weird. Hmm. Well, we'll go as far as we can. So I wonder if this is just not charging from that battery. I don't see why. I don't either. All right, we're off like a herd of turtles once again. <laughs> we're, the turtles are on their way. Watch out. <laughs> we're fully gassed up. Clear as usual. Desert Air Motel. You got refrigerated air, TV, and a patio. So I'm gonna call my mom now. Your turn. Yeah.
Big Bend is 132 miles. Jeez. Wow. But it, That's a long way in and out. Uh, uh, yeah, but it, you still go in 90 for a while. It's not immediately. It said exit back. was one mile, I thought. On my map. Call Lana Mobile. Mobile. Hello? Hey, how's it going? Well, it's going. Yeah? What are you, where are you? Uh, we're outside of Big Bend. Um, we, we we're going to go to Big Bend, never been, but unfortunately the, uh, there's just nowhere to camp. Everything's booked. So oh. we're heading to White Sands. I don't know if we'll make it there today or not. So we're in a tiny oh. little town called, I think, Sanderson. And it's, New Mexico? No, Texas. We're still in West oh. Texas. And, yeah. And, uh, yeah, we camped out last night. We boondocked. And we walked out uh, to go to the truck. Or, no, it was to watch <laughs> the sunset. And almost ran into a rattler. A big one. Oh. Yeah. Thankfully, oh. they let you know. Oh. Wow. So did Robin uh, and Mike leave? Yeah, they left this morning, so oh. I'm all depressed. Yeah. Oh. Did you have a nice visit yeah. with them? Yeah, it was nice, although... I'm done. I have one bar. I don't know if you can hear me. It feels like nothing happened, though. Oh, wait, now I have four bars. Hello? Yeah, yeah, it's not even delivering. Mm. Try again. No, delivered. You have no service. Do you? I'm curious, because if you do, I'm going to turn the Wi-Fi calling on and use the AT&T. Mm. You're going to like this cheese. Okay. This is the pepper jack. It's a little spicy. Oh, yeah. You can put it here. Okay. Not just for you. Those before. Hmm. 
I think those are purple sometimes too. Sliced apple would be good. Oh, wait. Can you peel um, an orange for me, please? Tangerine. What? Why is that so funny? Because it is.
was wondering how long it would stay there. But I, that's, huh? that's what I mean when you put stuff, like you put them like there in the bag and you just take off. It's getting a little chilly in here. Nice change of subject. Here. Yeah. No, no, no. Well, it was really cold right here. What are you so, here? What this is this? Well, I, that, I don't think it'll reach. Will it reach? Okay. Yeah, it's very convenient that this one broke. Oh, yeah. That's really sucks. I think it's, it will be a real pain to fix. It's like probably not worth it. There's a lot of fixing to do when we get Oh, to man, Arizona. no kidding. We got a lot of maintenance stuff to do on the truck and the trailer. Oh, you know, I meant to check the oil. I haven't checked the oil in a long time. I should have done it in one of these gas stops. Because this truck's so old now, it burns a lot of oil. Never run 
the, the faucet, we should wash like in a bin with soap and then dump that out and then fill it with clean water a couple times and rinse it rather than running it. And same with the toothbrush. Well, definitely toothbrush. when you are good talking, yeah. Yeah. That's what you do. But you get into a habit too when you're in a campground and you can just free flow the water. Yeah. Well, we didn't do it that much and <coughs> because we didn't have sewers, so we were still paying right, attention. Right. But uh, the first, I think the first few campgrounds where we, where we didn't have the water pressure regulator, we were really enjoying that high pressure shower yeah. and everything. issue what I'm gonna have to do is take those fittings apart and put some Teflon tape and hopefully that will prevent the leaking but it's gonna be difficult to the uh, kitchen area will be easy but the bathroom one is tucked but you way see up the there. kitchen has not to drip That's anymore true. it's not yeah. even wet underneath yeah there. well I also was able to maybe get a little more torque on tightening them because of its location. The bathroom is really difficult because it's up in the back of the sink. Yeah, yeah, I know. It so it's hard to really get a, a, a torque on there. No, you know, 
you can just put it in slow motion and do it as we drive by. Oh, so, I didn't think of that. I know. Oh, that That's I've where done I before. come in. No, I just want to see some of them because I wonder how they look like, and I put them in slow motion, but I still don't see them. Mm. I just haven't you noticed that I look and take a picture of every flower? Yeah. Every new flower that I see. It wasn't that new because uh, I made it before. We call it uh, the snake with bells. Mm. This is if I translate from Romanian. Why do you even have a translation? You don't have rattlesnakes. Yeah, well, yeah, but we talk about other oh. places of the world. Okay. You know, we learn <laughs> about them in geography, okay. biology, everything. So. Because there are, I, I hear in foreign languages a lot of times. There is no translation, so you will hear it in English, but they'll put their their accent is on it. Yeah, it happens. But this one is called Sharpele, and it will be easy for you like to Like internet. Pronounce. Is there a, a translation for internet? Yes. Oh, okay. Internet. Exactly. <laughs> exactly, that's my point. But I feel like we... Newer we, words. We pronounce it exactly as it's written. Mm. The internet. Where is the T? Pronounce the T. Internet. internet. Yeah, exactly. And I say internet. Yeah. Same, same. Mm. But different. different. <laughs> um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. Sharpele. That's the snake with the bell. Yeah, snake <clears throat> with bells. Sharpe kuklopoce. Kuplechera. It's kuklopoce, not kuplechere. It's with bells, not welcome. <laughs> oh, okay. We don't want to welcome the bells. No way. But I see how it reminded you of yeah, kuplechera. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's funny because like when you talk to your mom, I, I will hear words that I'm familiar with, but I know that they're probably combined with something else. That, <laughs> that I, they mean something else. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I wish we were on flat ground. This uphill is... It has been a lot of up yeah, and down. Yeah, it's not really steep, but in order to even go 60 miles an hour, I gotta really press on the gas. Oh, is this an inhabited place or not? Ah, uh, good question. At some point, I wonder. Oh, there's if... cattle, so yeah. Oh. I start questioning. Oh, that looks like it's in nice condition, actually. And just like that, one thing in the middle of the So I think when we do the Facebook Live, uh, we need to tease it a couple days in advance and pick a time that we'll start it. I, then, I guess we're going to have to use... And then we won't have any connection. <laughs> and we'll freak out. I hope that's not the case. That would... Yeah. Uh, anyhow, uh, I don't know if we'll... You know if, we'll have to, before. if we use the GoPro, I don't know if that'll work or not. Or we just find a mount and we can hook the phone up there. Yeah. We should probably use yours. Oh, the front facing. No, we could do the back. Because we could do it on wide angle, right? Oh, 
right, 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 right. Shoot, how are we gonna do that? You know, it'd be awkward. We need to be able to use the GoPro so that you can respond to comments and stuff on the phone. So. I don't know how you connect. I think it can connect live. Oh, well, I have to just figure it out. Okay. Make sure we have full backup batteries and things. Oh, I still have my new Oh, can talking. we share it on two different pages or is it just yeah, could we do two different pages, I wonder? That's got to be a possibility, no? Um, that way it like goes when you do live or yeah. share it afterwards? No, no, do, doing it live. We have to be able to connect both of our pages. Yeah. Can we do that, I wonder? I think so. Why don't you, do you have the internet? Maybe you could Google it and find out. I can't believe I still have this service. You go, well, listen, you go live, I go live, and we're in the same place, so obviously. Yeah, but we have to use two cameras. Yes. I don't want to do that. Yeah, I can't respond and stuff. And then you're picking up the camera. Uh, with one phone, you cannot do two pages, if that's what you're that's asking. That's what I'm asking. I don't asking. have to Google that. I know it. No, I think it can be done. You just need to Google it to find out. Okay, so maybe the other thing is we could put a splitter on the GoPro and connect them to the phones, maybe. I don't know. Because no one else in Europe has internet that cheap. Yeah, yeah. And 
you're better off buying, if you ever go to Romania, buy a Romanian SIM card. I think for them, for their local, they, they would have, but mm. maybe it would not work in every country. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't know, I'm thinking. So Big Bend is a place I have wanted to go for the longest time. And we are nearby and yeah. we're not going. And I, I, who knows if we'll ever have a chance. I am glad that we find, that I finally got to see the Florida Keys. That was a place, especially as a road tripper going across that, um, what is that, the Seven Mile Bridge? Or yeah. How, yeah. Man, that was cool. Yeah. That was very cool. So scenic. That water was incredible. What was your favorite place? On this trip? Yeah. I don't know. I really enjoyed the Keys, but it wasn't quite as cool as I expected, I suppose. I, I guess I liked Key West better than the other areas of the Keys we were at. Um, but I don't know. I was really struck by Charleston. I really enjoyed Charleston. That was a cool place. Savannah was very nice. St. Augustine, that sailing trip yeah. was incredible. Yeah. So... Okay, but pick one. Yeah, one... Oh, God, I don't know. 
I guess I have to say Charleston. I don't know how I can say Charleston because I love the water. Well, Charleston is on the water, so I don't know. Oh, but I loved that sailing in St. Augustine. <laughs> that was so... But that was okay, just but one excursion. Exactly, and it was an activity. So yeah. let's, I'm, I'm talking about... Oh, we are coming on to some mountains now. Yeah. Uh, I'm talking about a place. Pick a place. Yeah, I'll say Charleston. Especially when we went to that botanical garden. Or... Plantation. The plantation, the yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, that yeah. was incredible. Now, but, again... I have to underline, we were very lucky because we, yeah. as Ali, as were in bloom. Right, right. Full bloom, so that, and not to say that the plantation is not gorgeous, but with those in bloom, it's like yeah. twice, three times yeah. more. Uh, I, was, I was struggling as well, but I can easily pick the key, yeah. I have to say. So which part? But you know why? I loved, loved Charleston, but we didn't spend as much time there to really take it all in. So which part of the keys? I Key West I loved a lot, but yeah. I loved the rest of the keys. It's just us just driving back and forth with that water was just amazing. You mean when we were jet skiing or across oh, no, no, the water? No, 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 oh, across the water, okay. just driving, yeah, you know, yeah. with the bridges and um, I love the food there. It's, I mean, it's funny. I, I like Key West, yes. I pick Key West. Okay. Yes. I I loved it. Yeah. I really you know what I, I, I keep I've mentioned this several times before. I I really liked I don't know why I liked it so much, but Venice. Uh, on the Gulf side of Florida, yeah. I thought that was kind of a low-key area, absolutely beautifully manicured, very easy to go to the beach. Yeah. Um, I couldn't believe that we could go to the beach. I think five different beaches, and we parked every time. Yeah, well, it, it was very chill right yeah. here, I think. Yeah, I love that I mean. area. I mean, I, I absolutely could see myself living there. It was just a really cool place. Um, yeah. Everglades? We forgot about the Everglades. Yeah, I wouldn't say that was my favorite. I, uh, I, I really enjoyed it, but... Yeah. yeah, I expected a little bit different. The Everglades when I imagined and I read a little bit about it and it was nice it wasn't overwhelming like I thought I would be completely knocked out of my shoes or something yeah because yeah. it was such because I read it was such a unique landscape and habitat and stuff like that so I mean the wildlife and stuff there is amazing oh yeah it's, I mean yeah, yeah obviously where else can you see as many alligators yeah um you know where else I, uh, I, we really had a really lovely time was um, Point Clear. That was really cool. Wait a minute. Okay. Oh, yeah. you forgot already. <laughs> oh my God, it's just, oh, it's so much. Yeah. 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 Camping right by the water that and was the sunrise and, yeah. And I felt like there we had first time to relax, like the first yeah. relaxing hours, mm. really just enjoying the sunset and sunrise. We were photographing and filming, but it was like yeah. relaxing and I don't know. Oh, you know what else was amazing? Well, one of the best and worst was the Natchez State Park in Mississippi. That was just, all those bugs was just horrible. But then we go to Natchez... I guess city. The, the city, yeah. Oh my gosh, that was such a cool yeah, area. Yeah, very pretty. And then to see live music and oh. I know. After being to Mississippi and yeah. not listening to any blues. Yeah, no blues, yeah. That was awesome. I cannot believe we are talking about all the, the other destinations and we are not mentioning NOLA. Oh, right. Oh, jeez. We've been to so long. Oh my gosh, and then I, I'm thinking about San Antonio, which was really recent. I know. San Antonio is way up there, too. I'm going to have to really think. We're going to have to put together, like, a maybe a, I don't know, top five list of our favorite places just on this road trip. But we have to I call it somehow. The thing is yeah. that you cannot call it, like, the south of 
the US because we are coming all the way from Indiana. Yeah. Um, although we just went to Huntsville and then everything else really was in the south. Yeah, yeah. So Charleston, yeah, I think we can do that. Yeah, and Huntsville is another really cool area. I mean, they have so many neat attractions. And that was houses. Our, oh, the houses the are houses. so beautiful there. Yeah. yeah. But the houses in Natchez as well, geez. Yeah. to revisit some of these experiences by editing. And then, after two or three weeks of editing, you'll be like, I'm yeah. itching to go on the oh, road for again. Sure. For sure. <laughs> Especially if we start planning ahead and we start thinking, oh my god, there, oh my god, there. And then you just cannot wait to go to the place. Yeah, yeah. I just, I just hope nothing changes in my status here. Not status.
calling Lana Mobile. And you are even British. Yeah, I like the British accent. Hello. Hey, sorry about that. We went through a long dead zone. It's actually kind yeah. of interesting because Miha has. Uh, Hi. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Uh, she has uh, T-Mobile, and I have Verizon, of course, and then we have a hotspot uh, with AT&T. It's yes. not had service most of this way. Oh. Yeah. Most of today, wow. anyway. Yeah. Wow. Big rig coming. Yeah. So, what did she say? Oh, a big rig just passed us. We are on, uh, oh. on US 90, and there are no cars. Like... We, we can drive for 10, 15 minutes and there is no car in sight. <laughs> it's so cool. Yeah, wow. have you ever been on, on this road? Which road is it? It's in Texas, um, it's in Southern Texas that drives by uh, the exit to Big Bend. Oh, it's well, we've, when, when we lived in Texas, Michael, on weekends when you and Terry were in Seattle, we would drive on weekends and go all over the place, so I don't know for sure. Hmm. Yeah. Um, this goes from San Antonio to uh, towards Big Bend, I guess. Yeah. Jeez. From which town to, to Big Bend? San Antonio. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I have driven on that road. Okay. Yeah, yeah. it's pretty rural. It's uh, a lot of vacant or abandoned small communities and oh. uh, we're running through a town called Marathon right now which funny enough we stayed in uh, Marathon in the uh, Florida, Florida Keys yeah oh yeah <laughs> yeah so it's um we're oh so we we're gonna tell you about San Antonio my gosh that was a really cool place wow. you've, you've never been there have you Oh yeah. Oh you have? Yeah, yeah. Oh okay. Oh, Did you do the I river walk? San Antonio. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh that's fantastic. That's actually the number one attraction in Texas. Is it? Yeah. yeah. That's really something. And did you know that San Antonio is the second largest city in uh, Texas? No, I did not. Yeah, I don't know but when. It wasn't in the days that I was there. Oh no, Dal yeah. Dallas was the second. Oh. Wow. Yeah, it has grown like mad. There are, uh, I don't know if they're formal rings around San Antonio, but there's like four rings. And even, oh. and even in the outer ring, it's just, um, I guess it's sort of like Phoenix, where you have uh, the 101, the 202, the 303, where you have these big areas where the town is, or the city is just continuing to expand. Wow, I had no idea. Oh, it's massive, yeah. So, we wow. stayed in a campground about an hour outside of San Antonio, and uh, the deer were so <laughs> thick. My gosh, massive really? herds. Right in front of our trailer, the one, the one morning we woke up, maybe a hundred. Huh. Yeah. And they were very domesticated. Yeah, yeah, they were not really afraid. Oh. So. Yeah, lots of wildlife along the way. <laughs> yeah. So you know how many miles I've driven since I left Phoenix? I can ima hardly imagine. Yeah, like 5,500. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> maybe wow. maybe close to 6,000 with side excursions and stuff. <laughs> but yeah, it's wow. been insane. Yeah, too, way too much driving. Yeah. So we actually plan on being uh, in Wickenburg um, maybe in about a week. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Uh, I've got, you know, the whole idea was to edit videos and things while we're road tripping. And there's been zero time. I mean, it, oh. it, you know, we, we will go out and experience something and then that evening we have to offload all the footage and there's just been no time. We've been running everywhere. Yeah. Running, running, running. Oh. Yeah. And then you got all of the um, uh, maintenance things, housekeeping type things. You know, you got to do laundry every once in a while. You got to go to the grocery store. Uh, it's just yeah. 
Yeah, it's been way hectic. So, yeah. It'll be uh, exciting to show you the RV. But, man, oh, yeah. it, it needs a washing, that's for sure. <laughs> Yeah. It's very tiny. Whenever we park it in a campground, ours is one of the smallest ones. There are only big rigs around us and we could hardly see ours. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's probably at least the size of Robin's, but it doesn't well, have that pop out. Well, see, that's the thing Robin says that's so important, she thinks, is having a pop out. That's what makes it livable when you're parked. Yeah. some battery power problems. Yeah, this one is still flashing. But... Well, it's still sending charge here, but I think I started charging one in the RV. We're going to have to maybe go get it. Okay. Which would be a perfect time for me to grab that Coke so that I could have some sunflower seeds and some beef <laughs> jerky, because as I told you, that is a great road trip snack. But you just had a snack. I had a snack 50 miles ago. It was 15. No way! Yes. No it way. Half an hour. I, I, we have been driving for 64 miles. Yes. So that's over since an when? hour. Huh? 64 miles is when? Since we got gas and we had our snack. Which was not much of a snack. I had like a piece of oh cheese my and God, a couple I of I, it was, I feel like we ate. It was well, like you don't have to eat. I, I'll eat. You don't have to, it's fine. Although now I'm wondering how far until gas? Because we probably only have uh, another 70 miles or so. Oh my god! Can you check? I don't have connection. Oh shit. Well, it can't be 125 miles in between gas stations. So. Oh really? You think it cannot? No. Why? Look, look around you. Yeah. Again. No, where there's no buildings or anything. Nothing. But that marathon was so. Uh, oh, job. that's right. They had gas there. Shit. Yeah, but we had just. Yeah, we just got it. Yeah, that's true. Um, so the next town would be. I think I should. I, I'm still able to see the map with the yeah. GPS. Oh, man. It's getting hot in here now. Uh, Alpine. Alpine. Okay. So it's about the same distance as Marathon, so I don't know, I would say maybe 20 miles, 30 miles to Alpine. Oh, what about, oh. huh? It shows 14 miles, so it's closer. Yes? Where's that Prada store? How far away is that? Alpha, okay. Yeah, I know, but after, how far is After Alpine. I mean, it's 50 miles. Well, when I don't put the 35 miles, but you know, when you put the direction, it's going to be 50. 50? 5 zero. More or less. Okay. Between 40 and 50. I can't because I have no connection. That might be an exciting place to stop and get the Coca Cola with our sunflower seeds and beef jerky.
really like one of those scenes like we're in the desert in the middle of nowhere and you see some corpse or something and then lots of vultures it's like oh get me out of here get me out of this movie scene yeah back to reality i want lush vegetation around me i want palm trees i want turquoise water warm Water, turquoise water. Uh, I want an oa an oasis. There should be oasis in the middle of the desert. Well, there is. It's called a mirage. <laughs> no, I, I just need a proper, a real one. Oh my god, three cars in a row? Four? Four. Oh, whoa. Wait, is there a fifth? Oh my god. Oh, no, god. it's road. That is called a traffic jam yeah. here. Oh, and here comes a semi. Gee, this is really traffic jam. It's probably... Rush uh, hour. Rush. <laughs> Watch out, it's rush hour 19. <laughs> Five cars. Well, the charging from here is just 
Where yeah, but are you usually to... I've been very impressed with how fast it charges. Because it's there's probably some sensors and stuff in here. I don't know. I you see, remember how my phone is the same as the, as the GoPro. Mm -hmm. I'm consuming faster than I am charging. Yeah. a real bus. <laughs> it looked like a tour bus or something. I, I sometimes I, I'm looking at because I'm oh, thinking I is that a real bus or is it a trailer? <laughs> An RV I mean. Oh big motor room. home. Motor home. Oh my god there are too many names. Okay so how many? You have RV, motor home, uh, trailer, fifth wheel,
was it this? No, it is today. God, I'm just confused. I don't know. Today is Sunday, that the one right? Where there was, yeah. Oh, he didn't. Still didn't tell her Happy Mother's Day. No. He just called her and. Yeah, I'll have to text her if we don't have good cell service. Although I think that's really close to the border. Um, after Ciudad Juarez, a little bit, yeah. Because Las Cruces. Jeez, this is the most expensive I think we've seen gas. Three oh nine. Three, yeah. Uh, I don't think we've seen it over three dollars anywhere. No. That's brand new, it looks like. Jesus. What else is this person doing? Must have broken down. No. They just pulled over. Wow, what is this? A high school or something? It's very big for yeah, this place. But they have housing on the back. What is that? SR. Oh, it's a, is it a university? It is. University? Here in this little place? This is all like different schools and housing probably. 
maybe we come across so this was just the entrance and we come across a big city now or something yeah Sol Ross State University never heard of it oh there's a Longhorn steer oh yeah well we had to stop because our battery battery had run out and we had run out of storage on the micro USB so for the you're talking to Well, I'm just trying to explain why there was a big interruption in this video. Plus, she needed to bitch and moan about me and uh Unfortunately, the camera wasn't running to capture all of that. Oh, well, look how happy he is about all the <laughs> bitching and moaning. Uh, okay, so we just had some lunch. Um, and now the next stop, I think, will be that Prada display. Are we going in the right direction? No, I turned the wrong way. We'll go back the way we came for a while. Okay, yeah, because it's such a short drive anyhow. Yeah, it's a... Well, we said we were going to take gas as well. Yeah, we have to get gas. We just started going and we're going to stop again. Yeah. For gas. I, I, 
wonder, I, I was thinking when you said that, can you drive through it? I don't think so, it's all sand. <laughs> <laughs> the first five miles of Dune Drive are paved and the oh. last three miles are hard packed gypsum sand road. Oh. The road is suitable for cars, motorcycles, recreational vehicles, wow. and buses. Wow. Ta-da! Impressive. One zero. That's where the near the missile range or something, and they scorch the earth. Although I guess it would be black. You get hot. Yeah. Well, I guess I won't be looking for that. You were lost signal again. Yep. the first 
show or American program that you saw after communism ended? Do you remember? Like Gilligan's Island or something? What? <laughs> I guess not. No, I think... Oh, the only one I can remember right now and it's definitely very... Oh, and we are in Texas. Oh, wait a minute. Which one? Dallas. Oh, that's right. You were telling me Dallas. That's the very first... That I remember. That you remember, okay. Oh, there was this show... I what about like was... Andy Griffiths? No? It must... It could have been. I just remember Dallas because okay. we were just going every weekend. It was on, on Sunday at 4 p.m. One hour of Dallas and there was nobody outside. Everybody inside wow. there either colored or black and white television. We were watching Dallas and you know. And this is your first impression of America. Yeah, in Texas. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Actually, yeah. So what, what, what was the what were the things that I never actually watched that show, I remember it, but I don't never watched it. What were some of the things that struck you about the show or about America. Oh, what struck me when I came here as well, the vastness of mm. everything. Yeah. I mean, uh, obviously, I know Fourth Ward very well because oh, okay. JR was there. Okay. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Uh, yeah, and then I actually went to Dallas and my mom was like, oh, I like the movie. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like For the work years ago. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and there was one Brazilian one. nothing to do with with the US but it's related to the plantation so oh. um, yeah that's why I was very intrigued by the plantation where we were um, in the deep south mm -hmm. um, so yeah that's funny that's funny that we talk about it right now here in, yeah. in uh, Texas actually um, God it feels like How many lives? No, actually, a few lifetimes ago. Oh. Because I, I feel like I lived so many lives already. Um, because they are all so different. So my life in communism, you know, it was what, light years away from everything else. Um, then my life immediately after the communism. Then I moved to Bucharest to university and so on, and then I got my first job. So let's see, all of that would be kind of. And one your first life. job was Deloitte, or yeah. Let's see, all of that was kind of mixed together, and then in 2004 I moved to Belgium. So 11 years of that, that's another life. So so far three, mm. let's say, and then I came back to Romania. Although Belgium, I can almost split it in two, but okay, let's see. Three. And this would be the fourth one, like, really. Did you uh, live in Germany or you just visited Wiesbaden a lot? Oh, no, I just visited. Okay. Oh, look, let's oh, come now to we're Marfa. Marfa. Oh, we should have gotten the sign. Yeah. I should say in Romanian, Marfa Frate. Marfa. <laughs> you see? It's like cool, bro, cool. This is, but really like slang set. Yeah. Cool, this is cool, bro. Marfa Friday. Oh, well, I wonder where that Prada display is. Well, I don't see the city, so it says welcome to Marfa. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and there's like nothing. Oh, yeah, because we need gas. To nothing in there front is of nothing. us. Nothing. Uh, well, we're not right there yet. Okay. Oh yeah, we're still a little way to me. How far till gas? Uh, about seven, six point five miles. Oh
think we all probably have chapters of our lives, you know? Yeah. <clears throat> you know, like I told you many times the stories when I was sitting with my mom on the, the porch of, of our house and I was looking at the sky and I was thinking, when I was little, during communism, so I was thinking, oh my god, I saw planes going, I really love astronomy, and I saw planes going, I was thinking, oh my god, will I ever be up there? Mm -hmm. It was such a dream, you know, to be up there. Yeah. You know, I, I, I was looking at the sky all the time. I knew all the constellations and everything, and, uh, um, and then, <laughs> when I moved to Belgium, I was anymore. Well, how crazy um, it is, is it? You told your mom, didn't you say that one day you're going to fly or one day... Yeah, 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 yeah. I and, did. Yeah, and it was like a long-off dream. Yeah, yeah. I told them that I, one day I will be up there. And she she let me dream. She yeah. let me dream. I don't think she really believed it at that time. But, you know, as a child, I don't know if I comprehended communism and how limited we were and yeah. I think only once we got not I think once we got out of it only then did we understand why what we didn't have right right because when you don't have it you don't know like when I was in Cuba everybody I was there in 2009 everybody was so happy and dancing on the street and so on they were happy with what they had because they didn't they don't know any better. Yeah, exactly. exactly. I know it's like when I uh, I walked through many poor areas in Asia and other parts of the world, but I distinctly remember in Indonesia walking through this area that where these people are, their homes are built out of just scrap stuff. And they were really happy people. Yeah, yeah. They're I very might, content. My, I remember my childhood was really, really happy. Well, it sounds like you were kind of fortunate that you were in the countryside rather than yeah, the city. I, yeah. You didn't have to worry about bread lines and yeah. things like I, that. I did have an idyllic childhood, I yeah. have to say, you know, with all my grandparents, my family. Uh, yeah. And I your did. dad, didn't he have access to things like yeah. chocolate once yeah, in a we while? Had, <laughs> we had a little bit more than others because of where he worked mm -hmm. and we were near Chaushes where he was born and they had a little bit more provisions there in Skornicesh so I had like uh, similar to Nutella today I had like chocolate cream and uh, God knows what that was made of at that time and uh, every year and, uh, for New Year's that was my thing when I was little for New Year's at midnight I would dip my little spoon in that because they were saying in Romania what you do at midnight you do the whole year so I wanted the whole year to eat chocolate cream so that was my first thing at midnight Jesus. <laughs> my thing every year I did that for years and I guess it came through because you eat a lot of chocolate today the chocolate away from me because I couldn't stop eating it and we had a small apartment and one day she found me in the middle of the room I overdosed on chocolate I was <laughs> hyper <laughs> I didn't eat anything else but chocolate chocolate and fish that's which, a crazy it's combination so crazy oh I didn't eat them together at least <laughs> fish oil even today I love fish oil and everything What's the high and low on the gas? 29, 29. Oh, I thought you said it was three something. Yeah, but no, it's 29. Oh, okay. Okay, well, that's a little better. Um, Maybe this is updated more than faster than. Oh, yeah, it than, could uh, be. Google. And Google, yeah. But you know what I think about all the. And I, I know I sound old and stuff, and everybody's saying that, but when I look at the the kids today with their tablets and having everything and I don't know if they what would they say remember when I was six and I was playing that game on the tablet mm -hmm. 
Are there more than one station here? I don't know. Huh. It's weird. Oh, I see. I didn't update it. Oh. Yeah, 305 is the lowest. Hmm. Okay. I see only two stations in town, so I'm going to go back and... Okay, the good thing that the <clears throat> is that the mural that I wanted to see is right here. Is on our way. Oh, okay. Incoming. It's a giant mural. Really? Yeah. Like the truck looks small. Next wow. To it. Look, babe. Wow. 
the mural, but I cannot find that product thing. <clears throat> yeah, you gotta look, because I want to see that. Jeez, really? What? Drove... It says Prada Marfa is in Valentine's. Oh, we already passed it? Huh? No, no, no. Valentine's is further. Oh, okay. How much? Art further? installation mim mimicking a boutique. Jeez, it's still 37 miles away. Oh, okay. I was so convinced it was in Marfa. It's in Valentine, okay. actually. Okay. Okay, so both of the things that I wanted to see are on our way. Hey, we'll we'll go down here and we'll look at that big building. But ha have your camera ready to film since we're filming with this. Okay. Oh, this is done charging. So I bring more water from the truck. If you want. Yeah, I think there's not much left here. Okay. Do you need your tea? It's uh, getting warm. Yeah, it's, put it put it back. was horrible we, we only got 6.8 miles to a gallon because it was up and down up that and was down, the up worst and down. that's the worst so gas started. mileage we've had but that is ridiculous gas mileage oh, that's, no matter Jesus what you do Christ. and now and now it's more expensive yeah three that was fifty dollars just for 16 gallons Jesus. coming across this beautiful building. I hope this isn't one of those like super long trains. I think it is. It might be. I've only seen these big ones here. Oh, I should have counted. Jeez, just, you can hear the thunder, the roar.
still going. How much? Oh, here it's the end. Uh, it was 77 and I think I missed 20, around okay. 20, so wow. 100. Yeah. City Justice. Hall or something, um, yeah. I don't know. No U turn. So I guess we turn left. Can you take a picture too? Oh, wait, where's the link for the phone? I'll take a picture. behind me and stuff. Okay. Do you want me to pull over here? You yeah. can go out. Oh, I thought you wanted me to film. I thought you filmed the whole way. I filmed, yeah, but okay. I thought you wanted sideways. Oh, no, that's okay. okay. No. I filmed that. Okay. Oh, you can go around it if you want. Uh, okay. But we got it. Yeah. Yeah, let's just, just go. Be on our way. We don't know. I assume we just make a left up here and... This is a church, I'm so, I don't know what that was. Did you read what it was? No. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, co county ha courthouse. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I was right. Okay. There's no stop sign <laughs> here. It says yield. We need to put the um, to put Denny in front of that big uh, of the giant. Oh, the mural! Yeah, yeah. yeah. That should look cool. Okay. That should look wonderful. Yeah, yeah. You should. Marf you should learn. You should learn and use this word wonderful. Yeah. Marf yeah, marf And then I could tell the Ro ask uh, ask the Romanian say, hey, you know where that's that's from? Marfa. It's from this small little village in Texas. Okay, now we're back on the road. I cannot believe how poorly that gas mileage was. Because we're not really hauling that much water like we were that first time. No, but that road, the beautiful road, was Yeah, we up were going down. uphill a lot, yeah. yeah. You... Gain some, you lose some. Yeah. We were alone. Because I think we've had up to 10 miles to a gallon. When I 10? I don't know when it was. Oh, there is another gas station. It's the same. Yeah. Same station. That is really, really bad gas mileage. Yeah. I'm glad I don't live. Oh, there are so many. Oh, that looked like a cute tavern. Yeah, it actually though. did. <laughs> the water stop? Is that what it yeah, said? Yeah. Uh, That's an interesting name. 
Now there's some Texas barbecue. That's what we should have gone to the other day. Okay. No, it's it's not operating for some reason. Valentine, 34 miles. Yeah, because if I remember these pictures, like there's nothing around it. No services for 74 miles. Thank goodness we got gas here. Wow. We would no way we would have made it. With our gas mileage? Yeah, that especially. Even with our gas mileage, we'll barely make it. <laughs> Stardust Motel sign. This is yeah. famous. It looks famous. Many people stop and take a picture there. Hmm. I hope the other one was trying to mark a mural. Texas rangeland. Lots of cattle. Yep. Uh, really dry conditions. I don't know what the hell they're eating. Mm, no there's idea. hardly. Hmm? And walking into the sun. What do you think that white thing is? It's been there. I saw it since a while. Oh, it's some sort of blimp it looks like. What would that be? Limp. I don't know, it could be for weather or something. Huh? Do you remember the first time you saw a black cow? <laughs> and I thought it was, I've never seen black cows before. Yeah. And then my mom said, yeah, yeah, you have, you have, we have that. <laughs> Little details from my childhood that I forget. I forgot. Yeah, but you went your whole adulthood never seeing a black cow. I. I guess because I would have realized. Yeah. But you know why is that? Because as a child, my grandma was telling me this story about black cow, mm. and it was my favorite childhood story, and I associate that with my grandma. I and, see. You know, that I really, really, really love. And yeah, every time we would go to bed, I would ask her to tell me the story, and sometimes she would fall asleep saying, telling the story, and she would wake up and miss something or change uh -huh. something, you know. No, Grandma, she didn't do that. She did the <laughs> other thing. And then she was like, well, you know it better than me. Why do you have me to tell it? This is still it so nicely. Oh, jeez. Every night. Yeah, I, yeah, I grew up with stories, like, not read, you know, she was telling me. I'm sure so many things she made up. Yeah, yeah. But she remembered them the same? Oh, she had like two, three stories that were just, uh, 
know, the rotating. <laughs> and then, well, I don't know, maybe she told me more and then I picked my favorite and like I do right now when I love something to eat, I keep eating it. So it's the same with the story. I love something, I keep doing it. And you know what's interesting about your grandma is that she would have lived in Romania before communism and then went into communism. You started in communism and left communism. Yeah. So what, do you know, did she ever talk about what the transition was like for her? Yeah, for, for them was um, a lot sadder because the communists took, took away their land. Yeah. And they, they were still working it, but it was called collective. Mm. So, but they were working it now for other people. Jesus. So, I remember it. Oh, God, they worked so much. How did they get the land back after communism? Was there, they had a deed or something yeah, that they yeah, could yeah, prove? Yeah, 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 yeah. I see. So the, the commun... Oh, in point it? four miles. Oh. Did the communist um, allow people to keep that type of paperwork? How did that work? Oh, that's it. Yeah. Um, I don't really know, really. I, I was too young, I don't remember. <laughs> Oh wow, I, I this can is ask cool. my parents. Oh. oh, go here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, this is such a cool sign. Oh wow. Yeah, this will be good. I wonder if it's I should. It's almost like 3D type. The yeah, way they it is 3D actually. It's old. It's old. Oh, maybe we should take a picture here and then I'll pull the. Yeah, with your oh, wife. Oh, wh uh, what's the name of the actor? That's, um. Uh, Jesus, I know so the guy's famous. name. I know J James. James, James, yeah, I think so. This is Liz Taylor, isn't it? Yeah, that's Liz Taylor. That's uh, uh he died in uh, when he was really young. Oh, yeah, I know. Oh, that's what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, really? Okay, I'm gonna pull the drone. I'm gonna pull the car, the truck forward. Yes, James Dean, yes, yes. I actually, I thought it was a mural, oh, like a painting yeah, thing, yeah. but it's like 3D stuff. It's cool that they have that music playing there yeah. to really add to it. Yeah, 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 definitely. Um, I don't know if I told you, but I, or if you know, I have a uh, blog post on my site of the top I think it's like maybe the top 50 or top 100, I think maybe 50, uh, roadside attractions around the U.S. And oh. it, uh, I, I think I might add this one to it. Oh it's yeah, you cool. definitely, this yeah. is cool. Yeah, it's so, it's Marfa. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's Marfa. It's Marfa it in Marfa. Marfa. Marfa in Marfa. I don't know what that could be. It doesn't see. It's not high enough for a weather Either. balloon. I don't think so. And it's too high for a promotional balloon. Geez, this looks like a yucca plantation. It does, doesn't it? Okay, let's see that Prada thing. How far it is? Good. 
31. No, I think because the sun's just beating down onto the windows. Yeah. Jeez, it's 2.30 already. Um, yeah. My point exactly. Well, this is more kind of like my speed. We stop every once in a while, check out the scenery. This you can't do it on the interstate, especially with yeah, pulling that, an RV. That's or a why trailer. we chose 90. Yeah. Hmm. It takes longer, but it's much more enjoyable. Yeah. At least you see things. Yeah. I would like to get as close as we can to White Sands so we have tomorrow and then all day the next day. We could definitely enjoy it without yeah. rushing. I just start reading like what's there to do. Mm. Well, I saw a lot of people, I don't know if it's formal activity or if people are just bringing pieces of wood, but they're sliding down it. Yeah. Which actually I did in uh, the Gobi Desert or in China. Um, well, back in 2015, I think it was. Yeah, they had these, and then they had these like Sherpas taking all the sleds up there. Oh, oh my God, it was so hot and miserable. I couldn't believe these guys were doing that. Yeah, it is labor intensive. They would take like 10 sleds up, and I don't remember what it cost to go down, maybe two dollars or something. There are a few dust devils, right? Yeah, there. yeah, there really are, aren't there? One, yeah. two, three, four. Yeah. And I saw on this side as well. Oh, they're in the back as well. It's like a inflated plane or something. Well, it looks like a maybe a small or white because they're not white, but the Goodyear blimp. I can't see that far. Oh, I thought that the, this the red road would end and it starts a new one, but it's just the heat. Yeah, it's so just it's your oasis. It's a mirage. The mirage. Yeah. yeah. Mirage is in front of me. And you can never catch it. <laughs> you can never reach it. No. It's there, so close, and yet so far. Oh, 
it. Here it comes. No, no, no. <laughs> uh oh. Still it looks good. like we're getting a little closer to this blimp. Yeah. What the heck it's for? Oh, I know what it is. I'll bet you it is uh, got a camera on it and it's monitoring the border. I'll bet that's what it is. Really? Yep. But it looks it's like the shape of an airplane, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I'll bet that's exactly All right, let what me it is. Film it a bit. Yeah, film it. Because yeah. I remember you cannot talk about it if you don't show it. You need to know what it is when you're talking. There you go, you're learning. I learned, I listened, I learned. And it's so far that it's like a dot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Although once it's, uh, your camera's filming in 4K, you can zoom in on it a little bit in post-production.
like I was saying, in, um, you know, when I was little and I was going to school and I guess I wasn't dreaming even, not let alone planning and going and <laughs> traveling the world and being where I am today. up the corporate ladder and then from there it's like yeah I know I'm shutting the door behind me <laughs> yeah. I'm going to travel and, and most the vast majority if not almost all of my children's uh, of my uh, childhood friends are in the same village yeah, that's are amazing. still there yeah. With big families and and we all come from the same place, mm -hmm. you know? So yes, it is part of that. Yeah, I guess both of them have and what you do with it afterwards, you know. Ah, it just said they're tethered radar. The radar system, yeah. yeah. So I think that's what that thing is. They have a big gun. Oh yeah, they could probably scan this area and hear people talking and stuff. It's so easy. There is nothing, no vegetation. Yeah. It's just I just can't imagine. Plain this field. is the worst place you could possibly cross. Yeah. Unless you did it at night, I guess.
much rain here for a while. They got it all in Noah. <laughs> oh my god, no kidding. From completely wet and lots of rain every day to nothing. Mm -hmm. Completely dry. So this works without the the microphone, the wind, even if there is like noise on the road and the car and everything, it still works. Yeah, it works well. Okay. It would be better if we had uh, the mic maybe, but it would still pick up a lot of the ambient sound. The, uh, the only, the downside is being outside with the wind. That's where it's a problem. Yep. 
and after the interstate you have freeways like I'm thinking in order of uh, how big they are yeah interstates are the biggest I don't know I, I don't know the technical definition I think a freeway maybe is the term used for an interstate going through a city I'm not really entirely sure this is a highway that we're on right now which is just kind of a rural road without stop signs <laughs> it does go through towns this is so different because in Europe this would be a national road yeah. a highway is where you have two directions split in the middle by a median what you call here kind yeah. of a median but the median is not like in the US a large piece of land or something is just some poles or yeah. something you know to protect from the lights coming the other way and that's really it that's what we have highways and national roads oh wait in Germany how do they call them the yeah Autobahn but it's a uh, Yeah. 
Oh, since we're gonna stop, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get me a Coke with the ice. I'm gonna have some beef jerky and sunflower seeds as a road trip snack. We just ate. No, that was a while. That was an hour ago. <laughs> Wasn't it before we got well, gas? Why do you have a snack one hour before, after you ate? That's what I do on a road trip. Interesting to walk through here. I mean, it, all these houses look abandoned. This is a ghost town. Hey, Google it and see. I mean, there's a couple people you can see that live here, but for the most part, this is abandoned. I couldn't tell if it was 2,000 or 200. It started with two population. Huh. It's actually pretty good size. The I houses guess that are was very school or condensed. Something. They used to have a gas station. No more. They used to have everything. Beer, picnic. Yeah. Okay, let's see. About one mile. Once Prada came in, I guess everyone left. Oh, there's a number of people stopped there. Oh. Shoot. I was hoping we'd have it all to ourselves. Yeah, it's on that side of the road. On the left. Oh, wait, that's an RV park. Well, we thought we'd stop and do a little shopping at the Prada store here outside of Marfa. Our view was so tilted that when I was trying to go in to get the Coke, I opened the drawer and you know that plastic cup? It flew out and it was rolling right out the door. Oh, I dude. grabbed it right when it was at the very edge. Okay, well, we came, we saw. We oh. didn't buy any Prada. No. Oh, we gotta savor this because it's only six ounces. But man, it's gonna be nice and cold with the ice. How cool to have our own ice. <laughs> didn't we have two? Two what? Two little pokes? Yeah. So we have another one? Yeah, for another day. You can ask nicely. I need my sunflower seed and beef jerky, please. That's asking nicely. Yeah. I need, hey, please. Look. I need. This must be a field. I or something. need. Here. Hold your. Oh, wait, you know what? I don't know if I touch something, so. Yeah, and this way, rub it in your. I keep saying I should bring those down. Those wipes? Wipes, yeah. yeah. I mean, probably by the end of the trip. 
Well, find them and bring them in. Seed me, please. Seed me, please. I'll seed you in a minute. Okay. But I have to have the beef jerky to go with it. Oh, Jesus Okay, Christ. okay, hey, 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 chill. That's fine. Tiny. That is too little. No, that is too much. Then I need this with it. Then, oh my God. Hey, I'm doing all the driving. The co-pilot, this is the, the co-pilot's co job. I'm doing all the feeding and co-piloting and then GPSing and... There is... Oh, this... I don't know if you like it. Oh, it's a heart. No, I don't want... Oh, what's that? Oh, this looks weird. I might have a strong 
control. Oh. That's okay. But I only have two hands, so I don't know. Yeah. Where's the new bag? Oh. Did you hide it all the way over? No. You <laughs> did, didn't you? Where is it? We didn't finish this one. I think you didn't finish it. Ah. Oh my god, so precious, aren't you? I don't like this. This is too cold. This is too hot. Uh, this is too dry. This is too moist. This is too much. This is too little. Why do you keep complaining like that? Ah, it's not me, it's you. Oh, you're imitating me. But I didn't have the... Oh, I didn't get it at first. I didn't have the right voice. No. All the oh trash to me. This smells like beef jerky. Oh, yeah. Oh my, yes, it does. Mm. <laughs> oh, my God. We need to open the windows. Yeah, this is beef jerky. Watch out for the poop. You want a piece? Oh, my God. I don't know. When you broke, break. I don't know. <laughs> 
<laughs> I've never used it like that. Actually, I was just taking my foot off the accelerator. I wasn't braking, just to be clear. Oh yeah, no, I know you know how to do the same thing in 10 different ways. Mm -hmm. So you can still brake without braking. That's patrol again, border yeah. patrol. We should have stopped and asked them. I was thinking about that. Yeah, you are always thinking and yet we are always passing <laughs> and never doing it. But you are thinking. Seems like we've been going through Texas forever. Hey, you know, we went at the widest spot, and this is a wide state. What do I remember reading? It was like 900 miles or something. I forgot now. I think 800. 800, okay. It is moving fast. <clears throat> oh, 
wonder what it'll feel like. Oh. Running. Oh, passing. that's hitting the road oh, soon. Okay, we are, oh, whoa. We are going right into it. Look at that. No, maybe it's moving away. Yeah, yeah. it's moving. It moved faster than us. Wow. Wow, that is it interesting. Just the road. Yeah. Just in time. Oh, it, it kind of broke up. The road broke it up. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> that was interesting. You can hardly see it here, though. I don't know. Maybe It'll on the be. bigger screen you yeah. see it. If I can look. But so many, so there is something now because it doesn't feel so windy outside. So there must be something in this area that so many of them are formed. Maybe. Now all we need to see is a. Uh, uh, what are those called? Uh, tumbleweed. What is that? Oh, it's. <coughs> the wind oh, blows yeah, these yeah, weeds yeah, yeah, yeah. together. They get bigger and bigger and bigger, and it becomes oh, yeah, yeah. big Th tumbleweed. Yeah, that's actually what I've seen in the movies. Yeah. Imagine if you if you just live here, sitting in your garden patio and one of these yeah. just comes by your coffee, your everything. Yeah. I don't think we're gonna get good gas mileage again on this tank because we're we've just been going uphill. It's not dramatic, but <clears throat> how far to uh, El Paso? How many miles? <laughs> I forgot. I, what did I, you say? I said two hours. Oh. Five minutes ago. Oh. So that's over 100 miles. Yes, one hour and 55. How many miles though? 140. 140? Oh, geez, we're not going to make that. Oh, no. So what's the, what do we hit? Oh, we're going to be on I 10 though. Yeah, so. we're hitting Van Horn. Let's see how long to Van Horn. That's when we are going one day. Oh, actually. Thirty miles. Thirteen. Thirty. Three okay. zero. <clears throat> and all this picturesque landscape. Oh, this is an orchard right here. here. Oh. Wow. Whoa. Just like that. Yeah. Desert, desert, desert. Boom. Well, orchard. where are they getting the water? These are huge trees. Oh, I'll bet what they're pecan. They? Pecan trees. Yeah, I think that's what they are. And they're pretty mature. They've been here a while. They're all green and yeah. Yeah, well it's spring. They seem to be doing well. Yeah. Except <clears throat> that one. Oh my god, look how long it goes. Yep. My god. Oops. Looking at the cons. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, look how dusty it is ahead of us. I wonder if there's a sign that says who, what pecan farm this is. Jesus, I think they are all passing through here. Can you see the dust? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I hope everything is closed. Oh, there's another one that could hit the road. I know. I hope it's not coming inside. Oh. Look, these don't look very healthy. <clears throat> and they're a lot must have died or something because yeah, they're very yeah. sparse. Are they the same though? Well, they sure look weird. Maybe those were some diseased trees or something. They had to pull them up. Yeah. <clears throat> what the hell is that? Those must be the farmers for this. And all that cute. I might be sneezing. Yeah. So I, the dust always. Really big. Mess. 
miniature trees again. Let's see if it's. Safe. I can't believe how far it goes. Mr. Mike. Oh, no, 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 no. Well, no, no, no. that's what they say. They, they being yourself. <laughs> Talking about yourself in plural. Okay, I think I see the end of this. <clears throat> Wouldn't you love to have some? It's a bit slow, but at least it was like more like an action. 
action. No. No, it wasn't action. Not so much action, but different time. Yeah. Well, we'll have to see how it ends tonight. Hey. 
has to be a dump and stuff at the state park. Dump station and water. Great, but <coughs> it's far. So if yeah. you can make it, okay. If not, oh, what? Look at what the sunset time is for Las Cruces, or oh, I have it actually in my. Let's see what? I think it's, it starts with an A. That's the one. I think that might be the White Sands area. I think. 7.53. Oh, okay. And sunrise. Oh my god, it's 6 a.m. 6.09. Wow. Jeez. It is yeah, it's becoming... Night. It's getting close to summer. consistent they are all the same price you know everywhere else they are all over the place yeah it's got to be price fixing because otherwise somebody would go lower that there's clearly a nice. lot of money to play around with at 309 a gallon and there's some stations selling over 239 but in oh yeah no also in Texas or was it in Texas? It was in San Antonio there were gas stations. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 
the V, yeah. This city or whatever. Van Horn. Oh, Van Horn, yeah, that's what yeah, it was. Yeah, I would expect a VH, at least. should be 144 soon. It's the first time I see a sign saying that. Yeah. So Texas has two time zones. Oh yeah, because, yeah. So does Florida. This could be even worse. We've only gone 80 miles and we're almost a half a tank. Look at 
Well, we shut the camera off for a couple hours, listened to some music, <laughs> had some quiet phone time, call. phone calls. And some phone calls in English that are private. <laughs> um, we plus, are... we can't imagine anyone watching this entire video, so. Yeah, even if we make it. Go to the left. Yeah, join I10 again. Oh, that was easy. Yeah. I had to pull off and hit Walmart uh, because the last gas station I checked the fuel or the oil and it was pretty much empty I mean it just barely touched the dipstick uh, and I had just changed the oil before this trip but I think all, all this towing has really burned more oil than normal Interesting sculptures. yeah they are pretty nice and the cool part is we are in El Paso, Texas, El Paso. and we are very close to the border. I just counted. Yeah, you could almost throw a stone. I know, six blocks away from the border, from the Mexican border. Yeah. It's crazy. We've been like on and off close to the border like this, zigzagging the whole day today. So this truck, uh, it's still running strong. I bought a brand new. 21 years ago oh, wow. and it's got nearly a quarter million miles on it and so it does burn a bit of oil so it stands to and reason. now it's towing Denny yeah okay so we how far do we have till the New Mexico border? You'll want to this film is, that. This is what I'm checking right okay. now. Yeah, you'll want to film that sign. All I can see is the um, U.S.-Mexico border. Oh. But I need the New Mexico And you'll Mexico recall border. that New Mexico is the land of enchantment. Do you remember that? I do not recall that, sir. I do not. It's on their signs. I think I found the border. So somewhere in Anthony. Okay, let me put drop a pin. Say. Boy, El Paso is quite a bit larger than I thought it would be. I had no idea. Drop the goddamn pin. Oh, hey now, this is a family show. And, and may I oh, say, wait. that's a lot of gold. <laughs> Downtown Las Cruces. Okay, I, I just think we dropped. need to stay the Oh, line. the Mexican... I'm sorry, no. Oh, yeah, the Mexican border... The New Mexico border is in about 23 miles. Oh, okay. I'm confused with Mexico, New Mexico, Old Mexico. Right. Old Mexico. Yeah. Mexico. And we were even at the Alamo in San Antonio, which used to be part of uh, exactly. Mexico. Oh, this is really pretty. The freeway here is, those yeah. look nice. With the mountain. Well, no, I mean, look at all the architectural oh, yeah, yeah, details yeah, yeah. in the freeway. Looks very nice. Do you see the colors of the Mexican flag, though? You see? The and colors of the freeway. We're in Texas. It has the star. Yeah, that's Texas. The, the colors star. of Texas. Yeah, I know, but the colors, red, that green, those oh. are the color of the Mexican flag. Oh, okay. Actually. 
actually. So it's a combination. It has the Texas stuff. They're all friends here. Yeah. I'm excited. Right. Yeah, right. Oh, As we learned. Something. Perfect, but you know that all that bouncing it'll really help it. Oh wow! Oh, West Star. I thought that was a West End. Oh. It also has a W. Uh, oh no, actually, yeah, you're that's right. It's West Star though. Wow, this is a lot bigger than I thought. Oh yeah. And plus, they have an international airport. so funny. Everyone claims International Airport and they might have one flight once a week to Mexico or Canada. Journalist associations I belong to. I, I can't remember which one it was, but I believe they did a conference in El Paso or at least nearby, and they had trips to El Paso. Oh, I see. Yeah. And it keeps on going. Oh, yeah, it might have been. Alright, we are at the closest to the border now, the closest point. Oh, okay. Oh, so when I say it keeps on going, that's Mexico. Right, there's Mexico. That's how close it is. That's how close. Yeah. Okay. That's the highway is Mexico. <laughs> okay. Wow, they have all kinds of lights and cameras and stuff over there too. Well, this is a nice looking hotel. Oh, yeah. Oh, really nice. I've been looking to Mexico a little bit though. Oh, oh wow. It's so colorful. Can you believe nice. that you can just see Mexico right there? I know. Oh. First time driving on this road. You're filming me driving past Mexico? Yes. Okay. Bye. Say hola. Hola. Como esta? Hola amigos. Hola amigos. <laughs> Buenas noches, because it is evening. <laughs> and now you can say bye bye. Ah, cerveza, por favor. <laughs> no, 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 no. 
driving. Sorry. <laughs> Yes, but uh, how do you say cold? Cold? In Spanish, yeah. I don't know. Fría, no. Fría? So fría like, is, fría. no, fría is, uh, what is fría? I know what fría is. It's yes. like something having to do with water, maybe like a river? Is fría a river? They probably... Is Freya a river? What is Freya? No, cold. Is cold. What? Yeah. what? Oh, okay. I don't know why. Yeah, exa exactly. Cold like river. I said, oh. Cerveza Freya. Ah, okay, okay. Cerveza Freya. Cerveza Freya. Freya. Ah. Free How about if I say Freya say uh, <laughs> Cerveza? <laughs> That wouldn't work. They, would they'll, it? They'll, it has to be backwards, they'll right? Just, they'll just get it. Like, oh, okay. Yeah, Americans, give him a beer. Call me. Give him Cerveza? a beer. Cerveza? Fria. Ha, ha, ha. Give him a Bud Light. A really, really Fria. <laughs> Cerveza. <laughs> Gracias, senor. Ah, <laughs> oh, por una cerveza. You <laughs> learned Spanish, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Uno momento. No, that's <laughs> one minute. Um, no, what's a little bit? What's a little bit? Um, Uno. No. Un momento, see. Uno think. momento is just one minute, right? Yeah. It's a moment, one moment. One moment, yeah. yeah. But what's a little bit? Un poco. Un poco? Yeah. A, a bit, a little bit un poco. Okay. Influenced Some by their in, uh, neighbors across the river. Yeah. It's, it's, it's actually quite a cool location. Oh my gosh. Be. They have an indoor skydiving even here. Oh damn, I wish we would have stayed here actually now. But I think it's quite cool to have a una cerveza fría and look into Mexico. Oh. I imagine there's probably some cool stuff here in El Paso. Yeah. It's better not look. Yeah. It because then with my phone, yeah, in, 41 miles in Anthony. There is, uh, we go into New Mexico. So, uh, when we get to Las Cruces, we veer off onto another road, yeah, okay. There are signs here, they are very clear, and they always have these arches. You yeah. know, they are not just suspended, mm -hmm. they go across. Boy, it's been a long day. If you figure it's five now, but six o'clock uh, Texas us. time. Yeah. So we've been going since 9.30, and we still have at least an hour. Yeah. So do you think we should do our nice meal tonight or tomorrow night? I think, let's I mean, see if, about our spot, camping yeah, spot okay, first. Yeah, okay, all right. Because that... That could dictate it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We see if we are, if we feel it or not. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I hope it cools down. It's 89. That's well, it, too yeah, it did, for camping. I just read to you in White Sands it cools down like crazy. Yeah, we're not going to be quite at White Sands today. We are today. like, no, if we are there, we oh. are like outside of White Sands. Yeah, but it's right still outside. like 40 miles or 50 miles, isn't it? I don't think so. Well, I don't want to go be because similar. I just dropped a, a Yeah, no, that's fine. Now, so. Yeah, that's fine. Marfa. It's Marfa. Marfa. Very Marfa. 
Mucho Marfa. Oh my god. Oh gosh, I gotta get over and then this guy's just like he's cogging my lane over here. Gracias, señor. Mucho, mucho gusto, Marfa. Just put all the words that you know in one yeah. sentence. Oh, yeah, yeah. See what comes out. I'll tell you what would come out. Laughter. <laughs> That's right. so frequently. I don't pay attention to everything because it's just yeah. it's a bit too much. It's I not too much. I used to think that when I was a kid that I didn't want to learn everything because I didn't want to fill my brain up. But what I found out is my brain has an infinite capacity for learning. Oh, no, 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 no. It's not infinite, mister. Oh, I'm not. telling you. No, no, no. Okay. You push things away because you don't remember stuff from Well, this is true. Time. You do have a filing system. Yes, and sometimes they're way back in the filing cabinet, and you got to thumb through quite it's a few like, things it's to get like there. It's almost like first in, first out, you know? Yeah. So Cracker Barrel is kind of like a hometown little restaurant where they'll have kind of comfort food, I guess, is the best way of describing it. And I think they have like, a, I haven't been to one in many years, but I think they have a little market where you can buy jams and oh. you know, stuff. I, I don't think they have very good food, uh, although I have had really nice breakfast there, so that might be worth it. Oh, trying. okay, now I remember mm -hmm. that we talked about it because you were passing by somewhere and you said we could have breakfast. Mm -hmm. Okay, see? See? I don't remember everything, but I remember the crucial things. I remember that you said that they might have chocolate after breakfast, and that got my attention. No, it was a really lame attempt at imitation, but okay. uh, really, yeah. really, 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 uh, yeah. really. Yeah. I wanted to make it really a loose imitation so that you uh -huh. wouldn't take offense. Because uh -huh. whenever I try to really imitate you, you're like, "That's not how I talk." Oh, so that was my voice now. <laughs> They're scams. They're not. They are. They are not. It's right on the highway. Yeah. I need stuff. You need nothing. You want for nothing. What? You have nothing you need. What do you mean you have nothing you need? There's nothing you need. You have What everything. are you talking you about? Have clothes. What kind of You're driving in an air-conditioned vehicle. What kind you of have a first-class trailer. Oh. <laughs> you have go. lots of chocolate stashed oh everywhere. Oh my gosh, here we go. Yeah. Oh shit. Oh, karma is gonna hit you when you expect the least. You know that's the, happening. The gasket came off. I think it fell down on the floor. No, no, it broke. Oh. I knew that was coming. You broke Shoot. it. Yeah, <laughs> that, that thing's gonna leak. We can't use it anymore until we get a gasket. I mean, putting it in the fridge, it'll, I think, just it'll all okay. pour out. That's too bad, because that thing's pretty new. Oh, that's it? No, God. Oh. oh, that's the pin or something. Yes. What's the pin for? The border. Oh. It's the closest point? Oh, no, the New Mexico border. Gotcha. Yes, because then you'll be like, the sign is right here. Fill it, fill it, fill it. No, 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 no. And I'm like, where's my phone? How do I get to the camera? Right? Yeah. That's what you do. You don't have to like use you, that phone. You use the phone all the time. You can't remember how to get to the camera. You, 
you want it when you want something, you want it done. Ten you know, minutes you know there is a shortcut to get to the camera. Oh my god! skiing snow skiing oh really yeah I, I, yeah so we may be going uphill ah. again i don't think it's what is it no 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 oh. don't okay bother okay Texas, but my gosh, we've been in this state a long time. I mean, it's taken so long to get across. New Mexico, rest area two miles, so the sign must be coming up. Oh, it's probably in two miles. But you see, I'm getting ready. They'll have a welcome center Already. and stuff there. Anthony City Limit, fully just after Anthony. Camping World, geez, those things are, that place is huge. Look at all the RVs. Yeah. Wow, they have quite an inventory. So it should be a bright yellow sign. It says, welcome to New Mexico, 
Land of Enchantment. Don't we have a sign though yet? Yeah, probably. From last time? Yeah, maybe. We're gonna have one on this trip too. I feel a little bit pressure. To get the sign just perfectly? Yeah. Just this entire video that we should reward them somehow so I don't know what the reward will be but we will put it in the description box and if you can answer if you can answer the first these two things the be the first person to answer these two things we will have the reward listed in the description box and so the first thing you have to list is what do we say Oh, let's oh, yeah. put it there. Let's not say it. No, yet. no, no. They, we have to say it here. We say it here. Yeah. Uh, so the, the first thing is you have to mention... What was the series that I was watching, that I remember first watching after the communism, that yeah. I mentioned in the video? Yeah. So the, the first series, to the American television series that Miha watched after communism, list that... And then also list that Mike and Miha are great. <laughs> <laughs> so those two things, and uh, we'll have whatever the reward is that we come up with, we'll have that in the description box. So the first person that answers it and leaves that in uh, the comment section will win that prize. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Until next time, we'll, we'll see, see you on the road. road. <laughs> Backroadtrip.com